before we can talk about exponential functions, you need to know two things. One, this is the parent function. It is basically the base equation for all exponential equations. Two, this is what it would look like if it were to be graphed, if a equals two. Well, what does a to the power of x even mean? Let's break it down. A, the factor. This is the number that is put to the power of x to create y. x, the term. This is the number that creates y out of a. If you also notice, x is the same as x on the graph. Thus, why there is a graph in the first place. Well, how does this work, you might ask? Really, it's quite simple. Let's start with the parent function, a to the power of x. Then, let's replace a with 2, and x with 1. Now, how we solve this is also quite simple. We take 2, multiply itself one time, or actually zero times, because you're supposed to just subtract by one when you're doing exponents if you want to find out how many times to multiply by itself. So you just have two, multiply it by itself, no time, so you just get two. And the cool thing about this, that two would go on the two for the y coordinate on the graph and one for the x coordinate since one on our x and look at that it's on the line well what happens when x is zero or less well when x is zero y will always equal one unless something else happens to it. And when you get negative one, it halves, so you get one half as y. And then negative two would make one fourth, negative three, one eighth, negative four, one sixteenth. It continues on for as long as you want, or infinitely, but it will never hit zero, as it just halves, not subtracts to make zero.